Hey guys, and welcome to the weekly review. In this video, we're going to have a look at week one of Split 2 for the North American Vainglory 8. This was the debut competitive showing of Update 2.9 for North America, which gives us a major shakeup and requires the meta to be rewritten. Cloud9 and Tribe tried to do just that. As well, and K Fizzle would just buy time for the Kraken as he's very tanky but eventually does fall. Game 2, Cloud9 went with a Weapon Pedal, Crystal Power Black Feather, and Arden composition. They took decisive team fights in the late game as Gabe dropped the gauntlet right on T Tiger's head. Triple. Game 3, Tribe picked a Weapon Saw, which seemed to work very well into Churnwalker, pumping out immense damage and forcing him to constantly stay out of attack range. It's important to note that Zelsiar subbed in for Max Green this entire series and did a phenomenal job in the captain position. Our second series of the day was Nova vs Gangstars. Gangstars put up a great fight, but Nova found the edge around 22 minutes in as Eco dropped a perfect double gauntlet, trapping Xenotech. That is Xenotech dead! Lulu, he gets stuck in the wall! Game 2, Nova showed us that they are on another level with drafts as they brought out the Ozo and Flicker, two heroes we haven't seen played for quite some time. Lone Delphi went god mode, bouncing around the map and shutting down Lulu, who interestingly enough went with a crystal power Lyra. Before he gets the reboot, and now it's back to B under threat. Our third series of the day was Hammers vs Tempo Storm. Starting was back and playing like he was hungry for wins, while on the flip side, Tempo showed up without Lost Boy Toff and had Playboy Afro subbed in. Men. Hammers. Pay that guy more. That is insane. Game 2, Hammers found an almost perfect draft of Arden, Rhyme, and Kestrel. The combination of sustain and burst damage shut Tempo down, as Hammers took the series 2-0. To get on to starting, starting, he's able to walk away, find one, that's two, that's three! We also had TSM play against Rogue in a huge off-stream series. It went to Game 3, where TSM was able to abuse perfect double gauntlets by Flash X. Von Sion Rhyme is no joke, especially when you have to worry about Best Chuck's weapon pedal. Two kills already. Team Solo Babe going for the final on to eat. At the end of the day, only four teams remained. Tribe, TSM, Nova, and Hammers. Day two began with a high-powered series between Tribe and TSM. Unfortunately for Tribe, the Churnwalker train left the station before they could get on board. Enzo spells his death, Zelsia. It's a double going Game two, the Churnwalker conductor Flash X was back at it again. This time, the Black Feather went to Von C, and Best Chuck picked up Celeste. Leashed up by Flash X, and they're gonna be pulled around. Our second semifinals of the day was Hammers versus Nova. This three game series was dubbed the Battle of the Kestrels by Caster Dowsey. Unfortunately, the caster curse struck hard as each team to pick Kestrel would find a loss. Game 1, starting Kestrel was put down, and Game 2, starting put down Truth's Kestrel, utilizing a weapon adagio, something we seem to see more and more of, as Hammers tied up the series. Slow Delphi gets deleted. Status remaining alive is a Valkyrie onto Truth, but he blocks it up. Truth, though, will lose his Game 3, Nova had the lead, but in an important late game team fight, starting came alive, stealing the game and the series. It will just take down Truth. This could be Nova losing a team fight here as Lone Delphi dives into a cap. Our split two week one finals were between TSM and Hammers. This was the first finals appearance for Hammers in quite some time, and while they managed to play great, TSM played amazingly. Get stunned immediately. Best Chuck going to be following up. Hollywood Hammers stuck behind, trying to keep stunning alive, but they cannot. Status now has to bounce to win if he wants to keep this fight going. But Game two, the Churnwalker was picked for Flash X once again. Coupled with Kroll for Von C and Celeste for Best Chuck, TSM were able to beat an incredibly powerful and meta draft out of Hammers. Von C coming on in, starting all over. He just gets bursted down by that. So with TSM taking first place in week one of Split 2, they are now number one overall in the point standings for North America. Even without making it to day two, C9 are still in second place. Followed by Rogue with 17 points, Nova with 13, Hammers with 11, Tribe with 10, and Gangstars as well as Tempo Storm still sitting in the challenge zone with zero. This has been your weekly review. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you soon.